an E3D Chimera on a hypercube. How does that work? Let's have a closer look. It's nice to see a direct drive double nozzle solution for the Harpercube Evo. So let's take a closer look to see how this is done. Of course we have the Chimera at the bottom. Could also be a Cyclops because the cooling body is the same. On top of that we have the Nimble CC for Cyclops. Chimera and the normal Evo mount plate at the back. And in this case, the fan is placed across the rails instead of parallel to it. But there's a few little tricks. So let's instead of go into the design, let's go into and see how this thing is put together. Let's remove these things first, and let's remove this. No, let's put that back. Because you can see there's basically three bolt holes in the plate, and they're used to bolt the Nimble CC to the Chimera block. And there's two four millimeter holes above the nozzles. And you can see right through to the nozzle. And basically, you slide the PTFE tube down. Uh, once everything is height adjusted, you slice it off and mount the nimble base, uh, the dual uh, base on top. Okay. The interesting thing. Well, the thing that I did differently here, um, these by the way are little uh, tie wrap slots, like the same as here for the, the wires of the, of the Chimera. Anyway, the thing I did different was put the fan like this. Uh, here's a little, let's remove the fan as well, and remove this. Uh, I made a clip on air guide. As you can see this just clips onto little um, divots made in the main mount. So you just clip this on and that guides the air down into the air channel here. And here I've just left it open because I wouldn't be surprised if the air flowing down is automatically guided by this pipe to flow around the, the print at the two nozzles. Of course if that doesn't work um, it's easy to uh, to make a lid. But I, I'm, I wouldn't be surprised if this is enough to just guide the, the air down uh, and here uh, because it's rounded you get a little bit of a Kowanda effect pulling the air down uh, towards the print instead of bouncing it up. So it, it does work that way if it is enough is the question. Um, I made two slot holes so you can move this up and down a bit to adjust the height so that it doesn't touch the bed while the nozzles are printing. And basically that's it. Quite a simple um, idea. Uh, the interesting thing is to see if it will work in practice. And I made this at an angle so that the air coming out from the fan is guided straight down and into the hole. Because this is here, I think maybe the air will bounce, but I think it'll work. Only time will tell. Um, if not, as I said, it's easy to make a, um, a little lid for the air channel. Now, of course, this thing is printed this way up. Um, these two 
brackets are only here uh, to support the the Chimera uh, cool block. Uh, they basically don't they, uh, they guide the air down, but it's mainly to uh, give a little bit more support for the Chimera. I wanted to make um, a support block here to also use these three bolt holes to further support uh, the Chimera block so that it's locked in both sides vertically and horizontally but then of course it would be a little bit more difficult to print because that would then be floating in the air so you would need supports between the two and I decided to first do it this way and see if that works if not we can always add that data it depends on the user uh, comments so basically that's the direct drive solution for the Harper Cube Evo. Thank you.